Is it possible that the Sun and the Moon are the same size? Let's look at this on the basis of Holy Scripture, the Word of God, and of course the Word of our good old friend Science, which is run by Freemasons. Now we're told that the Sun is 400 times the size of the Moon, and that it is 400 times further away. And this is called a coincidence by science. No glory is given to God that he has placed everything in perfect conformity one with the other. So we have the issue of the size of the sun according to science. And now we're going to have an issue with the size of the sun according to the word of God Almighty. Now the book of Enoch is quoted in the Holy Bible. And God only quotes himself. He does not need any counsellor. He has said so himself. So God's word is quoted in the Holy Bible. And the Holy Bible only contains 66 books as we know it. Wrong number. Six is the devil's number. That means books have been removed. And the book of Enoch and the book of Jasher are both mentioned in the Bible. Therefore, they are the word of God. And in the book of Enoch, it says very clearly that the sun and the moon are the same size. Now, I'm sure that some people will be rubbing their hands together in glee now. However, don't rejoice too soon, because there's a simple scientific experiment which proves that this not only could be true, but in fact has to be true. If, for instance, I take this lighter here and I turn the flame all the way up and I turn it on, that flame reaches far higher than the point of exit. So with the flame off, this lighter, if it were a dome, a globe, would just be this big here. But with the flame on, on a globe, blazing all the way around in every direction, and the flames being held in by the immense gravity, it would appear to be this big rather than this big. The same applies, of course, for planets such as Jupiter, a huge planet, but it's a gas planet. So there must be something in the core holding that gas together. Otherwise, it could not be held together in such a shape. Therefore, there must be a solid, dense core in the center of these planets with immense gravity, which is holding that gas cloud in place in the shape of a planet. And it's accepted these are gas planets. The same applies for the sun as far as I'm concerned after what I've read in the book of Enoch. I believe that what you see as the surface are in fact the tips of the flame itself, which is a globe. A globe, a flame emanating from a globe the size of our moon. It is perfectly feasible for that to be so. And of course the light radiates much further, so that's a different subject because we can see stars from millions of miles away. Yes, I think that it's perfectly feasible, and in fact I think that it's true that the sun and the moon, in relation to their size, are one and the same. In relation to their actual mass, the sun has far greater mass, but they are both feasibly the same size. I prefer to investigate and believe the word of God than to believe the word of people living on a planet a long way away from the sun who have never been to the sun, let alone made it with their own hands. God made the sun with his own hands. If he says it's the size of the moon, then that's how big it is.